outrage, complete outrage, where China is poisoning America's children, poisoning our teenagers, poisoning our young people. How long are you going to let this go on? Congresswoman, let me assure you that we're not letting it go on. We are fighting this. No, I reclaim my time. You're a liar. You are letting this go on in the numbers. Well, no, obviously. actually, I want you to take the words uh, of the speaker down. So in uh, making a ruling on this, uh, it's pretty clear that the rules state you can't impugn someone's uh, character. Uh, identifying or calling someone a liar is unacceptable in this committee. And I make the ruling that we strike those words. It's, uh, sorry, just a point of order, it's a legitimate question. You're recognized. Are, are, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Did you move to take the words down or to strike them, Mr. Thompson? Yeah, sorry, I just stepped in. Point yeah, of uh, to take them down. So it's what we do. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, my understanding is if words are taken down, that means that the the member can no longer speak in whatever the proceeding is that those words were said. I, personal inquiry. Point of personal inquiry. That's there's no, no such Stand thing. Stand by just a second. House uh, when we strike. Uh, it does terminate the time of the individual who is speaking. So uh, the gentlelady is no longer recognized. Uh, the chair now recognizes Mr. Ivey, I believe. Uh, can I make a point of inquiry, Mr. Chairman? You can. So the, the ruling was that because she used the word liar, um, that was taken down, which I agree with. Yes. But, but accusing... A this statement of fact is very similar to the posters that uh, Mr. There's uh, no statement of fact. There's no statement of fact. Bullshit. There's no, there's there's no, no factual fact. basis for the statement. We're not here to debate this, okay? And the ruling was made by the chair that these previous words were not against the rules of uh, Clause 1 and Clause 4 of Rule 17. But to tell someone that they are a liar is... It, it's pretty clear in the rules. Slander is clearly covered by that. That was Marjorie Taylor Greene getting banned from that hearing. And if you think that's the most despicable thing that happened to Marjorie Taylor Greene today, well, you'd be wrong. This is her having an interaction with Eric Swalwell. Disturbed about a recent tweet from the former president that says Republicans in Congress should defund the Department of Justice and the FBI. I'm also concerned about people on this committee and their own anti-police rhetoric. This is a defund the FBI campaign effort. Again, thousands of FBI agents who work hard every day to take bad guys off the streets. In fact, after the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago, someone armed to the teeth went to an FBI field office to try and kill FBI agents. It was kept up for months after Kanye West said that he was gonna declare death con three on the Jews. Mr. Secretary, do you believe that all of us have a responsibility to elevate our rhetoric and to denounce anti-Semitism and anti-police re rhetoric in this country so that Jewish Americans and police officers can be safer? Congressman, I do. Thank you, and I yield back. The gentleman yields, and now I recognize the gentlelady from Georgia, Miss Green. That was quite entertaining from someone that had a sexual relationship with a Chinese spy, and everyone knows it. I move to take our words down. Completely inappropriate. Yeah, stand by just a second while we research the rule. Um, give me just a second. And we know Marjorie Taylor Greene is crazy. We know that she's a lunatic who will say stuff like this, totally ignoring the rules of decorum without blinking an eye uh, and thinking that she can just get away with it. But this is one of those instances where, Marjorie, when you fuck around, you're going to find out. And Democrats, of course, are the ones who are going to hold her accountable because we've already seen that Republicans are just cowards through and through. We know that Marjorie Taylor Greene is one of the most uh, far right extremist Republicans out there. Uh, and while we're trying to find some semblance of sanity in the Republican Party, they're just letting her go and letting her go unabated unpunished when she does things like this. So, of course, Democrats have to be the ones to say, look, <laughs> she can't talk anymore because we need to follow the rules here because what's a rule if it's just totally ignored, which we'll have more on 
in the next video, uh, which we talk about Representative Moskowitz destroying Donald Trump and Jim Jordan uh, for ignoring the rules on these committees. But back to Marjorie Taylor Greene. It's just this highlights that she is a, 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 a has been. She doesn't know what she's talking about. And Republicans uh, at every level are cowards. The chairman of that committee said her factual statements violated the rules. And I don't know if you heard that, but I think it was Goldman, Representative Goldman said bullshit. There was no, there are no facts here, right? Like, how dare you say that? And then you have Kevin McCarthy, right, putting her on these committees. At every level, uh, Republicans are PABs.